Hi, welcome to Car Mechanical. Today I'm going to show you how to remove and replace the seats on your Audi A3 8L. Now, I'll just show you the seats quickly before we start to take them out. Now, this procedure may well be the same for Mark IV, Golf, Seat Leons, and various other Volkswagen models that use a similar sort of seats. So, the first thing we need to do is there's a cover that sits over the two retaining bolts. Now, in this case, there are two T45 bolts that we're going to take off. Um, on my other A3, there were just a couple of nuts that needed to be undone, they were 13 mil. But on this one, we're going to use a T45 and to take them off. So once we've got these two bolts or these nuts undone, depending on how your setup is, we need to move the seat back. But before we can do that, we need to take off this cover. So this cover stops the seat from being rolled back too far. Um, I'm guessing it's just sort of a bit of a safety measure in case the front nuts were to ever come off. So you're going to pull that out of the way. Now the seat is ready to be pushed all of the way back. So you're going to push it all of the way and it will come loose there. And the best next thing you can do is actually to lean it up so you can get in and you can get the connectors out. Um, I'm actually just pushing it forward a bit there so I can actually see what's going on to push it back and to get it out of the uh, guides that the rollers go into. So coming into under the seat, there's four connectors. So we're going to do the green one, which I think is the heated seats. We're going to undo the yellow one, which is for the airbag. And we're going to do the red one, which is for the power. I think that's for the bolster adjuster on these ones. And then there's a black one as well. And that black one is for the ground. So just pop that ground one off as well. I've been a bit violent here in pulling it off. Uh, just use a screwdriver to pry it off a little bit, but not to snap the tabs. Okay, so now the seat isn't being held in place by anything. We can pull it out. And when you do take it out, uh, just be careful. These seem to vary in weight. The original A3 ones are quite light. These ones are slightly heavier and the Recaros have got do weigh quite a bit more. So putting them back in is the reverse of taking them out, but there is a bit of a trick to it because you have to line things up at the back. Now, putting it in initially, I've just sort of lined it up on, uh, on its back a little bit. I'm gonna put all four of the connectors back in. So I'm just showing you exactly where they're going to. They're color coordinated, so it should be, you know, everything makes sense there, but they can be a bit tricky. Um, the easiest way to do it is just by getting under there, having a look and connecting them. It sounds easier said than done. Sometimes the connectors are zip tied in from the factory. I break all those zip ties and cut them loose. Okay, so I mentioned there's a trick to getting the seats in place and these rollers need to line up into their guides and it can be tricky to do. Uh, I've not shown myself lining them up too much because of it. it's more of a case of just putting it in place and jiggling it till it all lines up. And again, it's the same for lining the seat up for going forwards. So just line it up and bring it forward until it hits that guide point. Now, if it's got the bolts built into it, it's actually much easier to do. But here I'm just holding the seat in place whilst I'll get the thread started. And you put the T45s in. Okay, so once the T45s or the nuts are back in place, we need to put the seat cover back on or this little bolt cover on. Now it just sort of sits on and it has a right position to go into and it can fall off, but I just find giving it a good whack sorts that in place. Now, apologies for the awful camera angle on this, but we're gonna put this little cover back in place. Two reasons, it stops the seat sliding back in case of the worst happening, and it also just tidies up the inside of your interior. So that's it. It's actually sort of a five minute per side job to change the seats, if that. Um, one thing I meant to point out at the start of the video, it might be a good idea to disconnect your battery. Nothing should happen, but just in case, it can be an idea to have it disconnected. Okay guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please hit the like button. Please share this video with anyone you think it may help too. If you'd like to see more videos on the channel, please hit the subscribe button. And more than anything guys, thank you for watching.